well, that is seven up and seven down. Now we get a little break. We get a couple bonus shows at the SPAC and then on to Dick's to complete Summer Tour 2023. So my expectations were pretty high for night number seven. That's probably a mistake, you know. Should never go into a show expecting too much. And then if they deliver, well, great. And if not, you're not let down. So I'll tell you what, I was, you know, and I did have high expectations and it did not include a loving cup opener. I'll tell you that much. So they pretty much lost me right there for the first set. No, okay, I'm exaggerating a little because they quickly brought me back. The second song of the night, I was thinking, oh no. Is it going to be, May oh no, in a good way? You know, not oh no. It was like, oh no. What's going to happen here? Some faces might be melted. But it was not a big jammed out maze. In fact, it was quite the opposite. They, they ran through maze about as quickly as possible. Uh, had to be under 10 minutes, I think. And then in Martian Monster, we kind of get the groove going a little bit. You know, now we got, an, we got a real opening to the show. Not that maze was bad by any means. It just made, again, expectations. You know, I, I was settling in for a big jammed out one. Not the case. Martian Monster, it's so nice to see that that's around. Didn't get, does he? You no, know, it's not in heavy rotation, but it is, in fact, still in the rotation. Divided Sky won. Speaking of not being in the rotation, but really good tonight, Divided Sky. I was expecting maybe... Um, you know, like, uh, you know, some songs like that, every now and then there's a botch spot, and it wasn't perfect, it wasn't flawless, but uh, it was very good. So, keeping, uh, keeping it sharp, even though it doesn't get played a whole lot. Then Prince Caspian coming through, maybe, maybe, just, and it got really weird at points in Prince Caspian. And uh, Mike showing off some of the tools. Trey, of course, you know, going in every direction, mostly straightforward, though. And then, um, you know, maybe one of the best, I'm sure there's been some others, but maybe my favorite Prince Caspian since Magnaball. I know that's going back a ways. I know that's saying something. I would, and, you know, and somebody even mentioned recently, will we get the tweezer Caspian, the Caspian tweezer? Well, it was close, you know. They dominated each set, really. And then NICU, I don't know what happened here. You know, one I don't believe they had played all summer, maybe one other time. Ah, man, that was a little bit of a clunker. Trey even at one point requested, you know, play it slow for us, Leo. And I think that was like, play it slow for me, Leo. I'm struggling here in case you hadn't noticed. And then Steam. So after that clunker, we're into Steam and Drift While You're Sleeping. Not a very great way to end the set. You know, maybe you love both of those songs. You know, it's maybe fit. It's mixed on this. You know, I'm not a big Drift While You're Sleeping guy at all. You know, not even a medium one. You know, and Steam, I, you know, I don't know. It's some nights I, it hits, some nights it doesn't. When it hit tonight, those opening, I was like, oh, no. Oh, no. And then when this, so we got back-to-back -back oh, no's, bad oh, no's to end the set. We got a good oh, no up here, if that makes any sense at all. And then some bad oh, no's down here. What happened in NICU, man? Leo did play it for us. Even just sounded weird. So then we get the set your soul free opener. A oh, little bit of a groan, perhaps. You know, it didn't go too deep, at least. You know, that's the what's the good news about it. And then things really ignite. And from this point on, the show was pretty much amazing. What I had pretty much what I expected and what I had hoped for for all night long. And that's all right, you know, like I've said many times, this is what we're here for. Even if we gotta get through this nonsense, the set your soul free stuff, you know? And stuff like that. So then we get on to Tweezer. All right, now here we go. Even if it is Tweezer, believe it or not, there are some people that were like, I don't want to hear Tweezer again. Well, you got Tweezer again. You know, and it kicked you right in the face, much like a down with disease that you complain about does. And then look at this, Guy Forget. Another one. Someone actually mentioned that recently in a comment. And, you know, I was like, how could I forget? But uh, I don't know how that guy pulled that one out. And um, just, I'll, I'll be walking around now. Guy Fouget. Guy Fouget. That'll be, that'll be stuck in my head for several days. So that's just amazing to see here at the seven night run. And then more tweezer into what's the use. Somewhere in here, you know, in this, somewhere in between the, uh, the tweezer, the Guy Fouget tweezer back into what's the use. We got lots of Manteca. Got a Frankenstein tease in there. So then the what's the use shows up. Very cool to see the garden. Everybody kind of calmed down. Got there might have been a you know a noise or two, a whistle, a hey, you know, can't get 100 percent silence, but really, really close to it. You know, and then sense and subtle sounds following that up. Took a moment there. There was a there was a few parts where uh, they were having trouble shifting gears, but sense and subtle sounds, nice to see it again. And then a little little more dab into tweezer, not much, but just a tiny little tweezer here. To end sense and subtle sounds, getting us into everything's right. Look, if we got set your soul free and everything's right, 
kind of at each end of this big set. All of this stuff was so great that uh, that's all right, you know. Just everything here and everything's right. All right, it's kind of like the set your soul free. At least it, it didn't take up a ton of our set. Although if you add those two together, now as you see here, we got number line. Maybe the show wasn't as good as I thought. You know, it started out awful. All right, I'm kidding here. So then we got number line. I don't know, it's every far. How many birthdays were there this summer, you know? And Tweezer Reprise, obviously, and then even the Tweezer Reprise. There was just times, there was one of them shows, every now and then something would sound really clunky, like, what is going on, man? Get it together. And then they would get it together, inevitably, big time, get it together big time. And then Harry Hood, the jam in this Harry Hood, it was more about the jam. Normally, it's just like, all right, let's get to the peak. Are we going to hit the peak, and how's it going to feel? We're going to feel it in the taint, you think, the hood peak? Well, tonight it was the hood jam. Kind of, uh, you know, quiet and spacey, even kind of a dark feel to it at times. And then, you know, it slowly picked up and picked up. Uh, you know, I don't know what was up with Fishman and Mike. They see maybe they knew what time it was. You know what time it is? I know what time it is. Mike and Paige were, uh, they were like almost kind of like just trying to thunder back in the hood a little bit, you know. What Trey was doing was real cool. Paige hanging out back there. He didn't mind. He's like, I got all night, man. We ain't got nothing until the back. What am I going to do? Jam out this hood. So that was excellent. You know, it's been a great year for Hood. It's been a great couple of years for Hood. <sighs> Smelling the Sharpie in the air. So, you know, not that it, not that it even needs to be said. I, I don't even say it, you know. I was just going to say I like last night better, that's all. So that Loving Cup opener, I'm telling you, I don't like that song. I don't want that song on my set list. All right, you know. They call the shots, but if I was calling the shots, there would be no Loving Cup. And might as well, I mean, maybe, you know, this might be the last year. After 2023, can we say goodbye to this? All right, that's enough complaining. It was awesome, of course. The whole run was, really. A couple nights that maybe, you know, might have gotten a B. A couple nights I got A pluses. Last night and tonight, and that's how you got to end it strong. Boom. And then yesterday, I put that video up. I was like, these 10 songs they're playing. You know, I'll cut a toe off if they don't play these 10 songs. They played all 10 of them. I still got 10 toes. Boom, we're out of here. And thank you guys for tuning in and everything all summer. And uh, we'll see you at SPAC. We'll see you for dicks. And uh, boom, we're out of here for the last time for a while. I'm going to miss you guys. I really am. Some of you, not so much. Others, a lot. <laughs>